This is uh, Phyllis from Hasseline Software, and I'm going to show you the uh, new futures bots that we have for um, Hasbot 2.3. So basically, um, the futures bots support uh, OKCoin and BitVC uh, futures markets, which allows you to trade up to uh, 20 uh, times uh, leverage, which can be um, you know, very advantageous if you have a very good uh, strategy um, that works you know, for the specific market conditions. That you're trading in. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up, um, and I'm going to show you a little trick uh, or a couple tricks, and um, yeah, you'll see how it works. So basically, we'll start off um, with uh, creating a new futures bot. Here we can call it something. We'll call it OK Coin Demo. Um, then we'll go ahead and choose the exchange. We're going to do OK Coin Futures, and now here we have a list of all the different futures markets. Um, we have Litecoin Weekly, Litecoin uh, Quarterly, Litecoin Bi-Weekly, um, Bitcoin Weekly, Bitcoin Quarterly, and Bitcoin Bi-Weekly. Uh, for this, we're just going to go ahead and choose um, the weekly market because it's a Tuesday and the settlement is on Friday, so you got a few days to uh, trade on this market. Um, and then now we're going to go ahead and select the leverage. Um, I've got options between 10x leverage and 20x. Um, I feel like a gambler right now, so I'm going to go with 20x, and we're going to click Save. And now that we have our uh, new Futures bot, it was created, we need to go ahead and click on the little eye icon to open it up. And from here, we have some data. We have uh, the bot just created a new bot. That's good. Um, and now the first thing we want to do is go to Trade Settings. Um, trade Settings, uh, if you're used to the normal trade bots, there's going to be a lot more settings here. Um, so I'll just go ahead and run through them. Um, because of the way that the futures market works, you're, you're technically not trading Bitcoin. Uh, you're trading uh, contracts. And on OKCoin, the one contract represents $100 worth of Bitcoin. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. So say um, when you type in the amounts, like for the fixed amount, you're doing contracts. So you want to do a little bit of math and figure out what it is. And the amount of contracts you can trade is dependent on the leverage you're using. So we're gonna go choose 20, and up here you'll, you'll notice that I have uh, the option of running up to six contracts. Um, and that includes the leverage. So basically, um, yes, yeah, so you wanna choose that. Um, for this demo, we'll do, say, two contracts. Um, and yeah, so basically, uh, you can choose the leverage. We have 20x here. Um, for the funds position, um, one thing with the futures markets and um, with the way Hasbot handles it, um, we have three positions now. So you have long, short, and no position. So the bot needs to know exactly, okay, what do I need to do first? Where am I? What do, what do you want me to do next? So because I currently do not have a position, um, I'm gonna choose no position. But say if I have, I've already had, um, say like two contracts long or two contracts short, I could go ahead and select that. So then the bot knows exactly what to do next. So we're going to use no position. Um, if you want, you can enter in your last long price. So say if you were long, you could actually type in that price um, that you went long. Same thing with short. Um, for the trade amount, you want to use fixed amount. Um, all in is generally a bad idea with futures, particularly because it's incredibly volatile and it's quite easy to you know uh, take some pretty big losses. Um, so I really recommend against all in, and percentage is not really useful for this. Um, so you want to keep fixed. So now that you have you know chosen exactly how much you want to run, you can also, if you want to, you can go to the advanced uh, options. Get out here, and um, yeah. So basically, the way the bot works now. So if I, without going to the advanced options, the bot will, on a buy signal, it will close a short if there is a short open. It'll go long. And then on the, the subsequent um, uh, uh, sell signal, it's going to close that long, and then it's going to go short, and then it will re repeat that process. If you don't want it to do that, say if you only want it to go long, um, and then close that long on a sell signal, uh, you can do that in advanced settings. Um, and then you can do the same thing, um, you know, say if you only want to short and close the short on a buy signal. So if you look at the advanced settings, this is where you can change that. So say if you only want to go long, you would change the indicator uh, sell signal to go to no position. Um, so that way it will not open a short. Um, 
And yeah, you can do the same thing with uh, safeties as well when you, if you use them. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and for this demo, we're going to leave it as default. You can also change the uh, order type. If you want to do limit orders, um, that's the default. Um, but you can also do market orders as well. Uh, keep in mind that with the futures markets, if you are trading more than like, you know, 30 or 40 contracts, um, there is a chance that you might your order may not get filled on the market depending on when you're executing that order. So uh, my suggestion is to keep um, the uh, contract amount you know, around like 30 or less and just have as many bots as you want doing the same thing. So that way you know, they'll execute 30 contracts, you know, it'll get filled, and then another bot will do the same thing, etc. It's a lot better than trying to get you know, um, like, you know, 200 or 300 contracts filled at once because that may not happen. Weeklies that may happen, but on quarterly liquidity is a little bit lower, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, we've been testing this for more than a month, and just some observation that we've noticed. But yeah, so I'm going to keep everything default, um, and then we will go ahead and save it. So while the bot's saving, you'll notice that you have the order book, which is quite nice um, to see. You have the data, and um, you know, when you when you're trading um, on uh, futures with Hasbot, it's really you really want to pick uh, you know certain um, market conditions you know to trade in. Like um, you know, depending on your trading style, you know, say if the market's sideways, like it kind of is now. These are one minute candles though. Um, if it's sideways, you kind of want to stick with a, just a kind of a quick little thing to scalp. Um, and then you can also use it to close your position. Say if you're in a more longer term position, the market's pumping. You can use a moving average based indicator to close that, uh, close out your long position. Say like Tima or something, or like one hour. You know, it's really up to you. But uh, just keep in mind that you know, with 20x, it's um, you can have a lot of profit, but you can also have quick losses. So um, you want to you want to really know what you're doing and understand the strategies you are running. So for this, um, let's go ahead. Market's somewhat sideways, so we're going to go run a uh, sideways. Um, strategy. Um, for now, let's let's uh, take Stash Asic. Go ahead and pick that. And then for indicator, it's the same thing as um, you know with the trade bot. You know you have the same trade signals, etc. Um, one thing with futures markets, say you may not want to trade on um, you know on the uh, OKCoin OK futures weekly data. Um, a lot of people don't. So instead, what we can do is we can go ahead and use OK Coin CN data instead of one minute. We'll just uh, let's take a look at five. We'll save that and let's back test the indicator. Doing so, we'll uh, force the bot to grab uh, data from for the OK Coin pair. Um, you know, if you've been trading a while, you'll know that you know when you trade, um, you know the futures markets follow what happens on the spot markets. So um, it's generally a good idea to follow, you know, have the bot monitor what's happening on spot markets, depending on the, you know, the exchange, the exchange that you want to uh, follow. So here we have this. Trade signals aren't that great, um, but you know, could be worse. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, let's, let's just say that you know, hypothetically, this is exactly what I want to run. Um, and we can just go ahead and click update. And also, you know, if you want to, instead of uh, going through the trade uh, settings, um, if you only want to go long or short, you can do it here. But if you do use short, if you omit the uh, use short signal, it will not close out your position. So something to keep in mind. You want to do it through the trade settings, though. So say we're satisfied with that. You can have as many safeties and insurances, master indicators. We have the exact same indicators as, you know, trade bot. And that, that is actually really all there is to it. Um, you can just go ahead and click activate. It'll activate it. We can go back to the dashboard. And then our bot is now active. And so you'll notice that when it trades, um, because we started in no position, we're gonna, the little um, dial is going to be here. Say if the next, and, it, and um, say the next uh, trade signal is a sell signal. It'll go ahead and just go short. Or if the next trade signal is long, it'll go long. So from when you start in the no position, it's advantageous if you're not sure what the market's going to do if you're scalping. So you can just let it run, and um, you know you can you're uh, scalping on uh, high leverage. Um, so yeah, that's essentially it. It's actually rather easy. Um, I just highly recommend that people understand how the futures markets work, understand what you're trading, 
um, and understand that understand what strategy you are running. It's very important that you know this. So uh, but that's essentially it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us on our forums or shoot us an email. All right, good luck and happy trading.